guys. Happy Thursday. Let's bring this camera up just a little bit. I apologize to you guys for um, starting a little late today. I had some meetings. Hopefully that works out okay for you guys. I'll give you guys a second to hop on before we start the class. I'm really excited about today's class because it's all about eyeshadow trends um, for 2020. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Let me scoot my chair in. I hope you guys are all surviving isolation, quarantine, all of that great stuff. I mean, we are we are all hanging in there at this point, aren't we? <laughs> Hi, blonde and bougie, how are you? <laughs> Let me turn that off. Okay. Hi, Michaela, Nicole M, Debbie Green. How are you guys? I finally uh, tried to do a decent hair for you guys today. Pregnancy life is really fun. I feel very unmotivated to do anything at this point. <laughs> Hi, Karen Solomon, Mies La France. Hi, how are you guys? Let me give you guys just a couple more to hop on. And I'm gonna put on my lip oil and then I'll tell you about the, um, the class today. So let me put this on. I always start off um, my look with a little bit of oil. I'm just using rosehip oil today because my lips are extremely, extremely dry. Yes, I put it back in. This is the, I, I'm the only one that uses this. <laughs> Christina, hi from Egypt. Brandy from Detroit. Yeah, let me know where you guys are all at. It's really curious to see where everyone is. And then if you guys can comment below too, once this video goes live, if you're okay with noon on Thursdays, I kind of want to keep it consistent between Thursdays and Sundays. And let's face it, we're all on staying up very late <laughs> during isolation. So let me know below if you prefer 11 a.m. Pacific time or noon, and I will go with whatever everyone really feels like they want <laughs> because I am, I'm home, so I can do any time. <laughs> Anyways, so our class for today is all about eyeshadow placement, it's eyeshadow trends. And I have some shout outs on my phone for some um, artists that I want to highlight their work. And then we're gonna talk, we're actually gonna do some makeup looks today. I'm gonna touch up my brow really, really quick, you guys. Um, so I have a little baldy spot right here. I don't know why it just keeps doing that. So I just use a pencil to fill in my brows. They're really dark right now because my hair is so light, but I use the benefit precisely my brow. Okay, so let me show you the visuals. So the trends for 2020, you all, is about a strategic eye placement of color. Because you know how for the last couple years it's all been cut, crease, cut, crease, cut, crease. Lots of colors, rainbows, rainbows. Now the trend is going a little bit cleaner, a little bit more editorial. You'll see a lot of professional artists doing this technique. And it's really amazing for every day because it's so fast, so easy. So we're going to do some of those looks today. But I'm going to show you different areas that you guys can strategically place color. So if you want to take one color or two colors, pick a spot on your eyes to do it. So the first one I have here is obviously the crease. You can just take a color, slap it in the crease, kind of buff it out a little bit, do a nice liner, you're good to go. That's one kind of strategic placement. The other you can do, we've done this a lot of times, is a blowout where you just take the color, you put it all over the lid, you just keep buffing it up with a dry brush and that gives you a very soft kind of faded color look. So that's one option that you guys can do. The other one you can do is a pop under the lower lash line. In the banner that I showed you guys, let me pull it up, the one that we have for um, YouTube that I use as a banner. So this guy right here, let me zoom in. See that one? Isn't that really pretty? So don't feel like because we're doing just one spot it has to be boring. You can bring it out like that. This is kind of one strategic placement, lower lash line. We're gonna do this one today too. You bring it in the inner corner, you kind of wing it out, but that's one other spot. I have two more, two more, two more. The outer corner, this one is my personal favorite. I feel like everyone can pull this off because you're just putting color out here. So if you have closed set eyes, hooded eyes, um, pretty much any eye shape honestly can pull this one off. And it's really easy just to keep the color out in this outer corner. You blend it so it looks like it's just faded in. That one's my favorite, really easy. And then the last one you can do is like along um, the upper lash line. So I'm gonna do just some looks for you guys today. Um, just to give you ideas of different stuff. I have not practiced these looks, so if they turn out very not good, so sorry. You guys know how lives go. You get to be with me through all the mistakes and everything. <laughs> all right, so let's do first the one from this banner, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite pro artists that I follow that are amazing. Um, so we're gonna do this one first today. 
I'm not going to do blue because I have a hard time wearing blue under here. It draws out my dark circles. Because I have brown eyes, we're going to go back to our color theory. I'm going to do teal. Um, or you can do purple, actually, because I have brown eyes, which would be somewhere, you know, dark orange. If I go opposite, I like doing teals. Purples look really good on brown eyes. Actually, let's do, let's do purple. Let's do purple because everyone can pull off purple. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with mystical. It's this guy right here. But I'm going to go underneath with a power pigment, this guy right here, just to give it even more saturation of color. This is dedicated right here. And that's what that looks like. So see how those two dedicated power pigment and um, mystical are really similar in color. So let's just go for this. We're just going to go for it, guys. Take a small dome brush. You can go in with something like this. The Outer V brush. So you want something dome like this. Let me pull it in so you guys can see. Tell me, you guys, if, if you feel like it's not close enough. And I will do my best to accommodate. That's what we get to do for live. You guys can tell me, like, I can't see. <laughs> move it in, Marlena. Move it in. Okay, we're going to get really up close and and personal with these eye bags here. Hi, Patricia from Berlin. <laughs> that is pink, not purple. Lori's screaming. She's like, it's pink. It's not purple. I can do, you know what we'll do, Lori? We'll do, um, how about we do invincible with it to make it more purple? Let's try that. I'm going to do this for Lori. See, when you guys join live, I'm going to do your request. There's invincible. We'll do that one instead. <laughs> It's warm purple, Lori. It's warm purple. <laughs> okay, so take your small dome brush that I just had. So we're going to grab another one because I don't know where that went. Okay, I'm going to do this side. Strategic placement. That's all about <laughs> Lori Lane is like, yay, thanks. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take Invincible Power Pigment and we're just going to start putting it under here. And I'm going to show you, we'll give you a couple options depending on how much time you guys have. I mean, we have a lot of time right now, don't we? <laughs> but when the isolation is over and we have to go back to work and leave the house, or for those who are still working now, which is happening, mad respect for all of you. I hope you guys stay safe. Okay, so I'm going to kind of come out here a little bit. And we're just going to, I'm not going to bring it down to too much of a point there just because it can be harder to pull off. So I'm just doing this here. And it looks like from that picture, you see how I'm just dragging it out like this, you guys? Just like that. If you feel that's too much, which it can be, it's honestly your preference with your eye shape, you can kind of do this under here. And you could smoke it out a little bit by taking the brush, just wiping it off. And you can kind of buff under here. Can you guys see that? Sorry, I'm looking at the phone as my mirror. So if I'm looking over here, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but let me know if this is close enough for you guys. Okay. So that's really easy. Pop of color so fast. From the picture here, it looks like they have a brown um, shadow on the lid. So if you guys feel like this is very basic for you, can you see on this how it looks like there's kind of a smoked out brown up here? I'm going to go ahead and do that just because why not? We can. We have more time. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a nice warm brown. So I'm going to go in with probably cheetah bear. If you have lighter skin than me, I would go in with honey badger. If you have deep skin, I would go in with, um, which one is this one? Chocolate wasted. So that's kind of our row. We're going to do some warm browns. If you like cool tone browns, I would go with this row here where it's like lot, um, uh, beach, please. I'm having brain farts. You guys, this row here, warm browns, warm browns, cool browns in your matrix system. We're going to go go in with cheetah bear and I'm just going to buff this on the lid that blowout technique from our first makeup class do that here and we're just going to keep buffing it up the reason I'm doing this is because I just want to complete the look but still keep it really easy super super easy so do some of that if you need to blend it out a little bit and we're not going to this isn't going to be pretty pretty perfect this is you know this is editorial this is quick and dirty it's not perfect it's not flawless just want to do that 
just to kind of pull it together. And then I will put some lashes on to show you guys. Now, if you want it to be shimmery underneath, now you can go in with that mystical. If you like the matte look here, you can do that. See how quick and dirty that was? I literally just took a dome brush and blended that in. You can go in with a shimmer shadow if you want it to be shimmery under here, which I really like. See how much it pops right there? So pretty. Kind of bring it out just like that. Super easy. I'm not liking how it looks on me with it coming down to the inner corner. If you feel like your eyes can pull it off, I would do that. I don't feel like I can. So for me, I'm going to clean this up just because I feel like it's not working for me. But if you guys want a pop of the inner corner, if you want to go three shadows instead of just two, you can take that same brush and go in. I'm going to actually do a, um, a pigment. I'm going to do, let's do telepathic maybe. If you guys want a light shimmer, let me show you. Quick and dirty. That's how we like it. it sounded a little perverted, didn't it? <laughs> this is telepathic. So I'm going to use this as an inner corner pop. This is optional, you guys. It's honestly how quick and how much time you have in the morning. I'm going to put a little bit here. And we're not going to be pretty pretty. We're just going to slap this on because that's the whole purpose of this eyeshadow trend is just very editorial right there. Okay, let me put on the mascara so I show you how, you, how it pulls together. And then it's up to you guys if you want to put a little black in the waterline to kind of pull it off. If you feel like you need it blended under here, you can go in and just kind of clean this up just like that. So it's really just truly a pop. But let me show you what it looks like with the mascara. So I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm using um, Colored Rain's um, Lash Curler because I need it. My lashes are bone straight these days. <laughs> Taking L'Oreal Voluminous Black, we're going to put this on just like that. I'm not going to do lashes right off the bat for this look because I want you guys to see that you don't have to have lashes every day. I think that's the other trend I feel like we're kind of pulling away from is, um, you know, you use lashes when you want, but you don't have to have them. Okay, so I'm doing a swiggle and sweep motion. Can you guys see that? Swiggle, sweep, swiggle, sweep, just like that. <laughs> Aw, okay, I'm going to do the lower lash line. Do you see how it pulls it together? Look how pretty that is and super fast. It was really, really easy. If you guys want to clean up out here a bit, we can, just like that. Let me show you what it looks like if you really want to tie it together and do um, eyeliner in the waterline. You can take a pencil, just use it as a tool, and you can run a little waterline action going on here. If you have a purple liner, that would be amazing. There you go. You see how quick and dirty and easy that was? Okay, so let's do another look. Let's do this eye right here. You get to see one on each eye. <laughs> okay, let me highlight a couple artists that I want you guys to check out on Instagram. So, okay, so the other one I have, her name is Katie, and her username is Katie Jane Hughes. She's a professional artist. She's in New York, amazing. If you guys have a chance to follow her, she specializes in the eyeshadow trends for sure. She does gorgeous looks that are all very um, kind of simple but very beautiful and artistic this is another one that i like from her i wanted to do this one for you guys today look how beautiful that is it's only a couple colors so i'm gonna do this one sorry laurie i'm gonna use pink today i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm not gonna call it purple though okay so we're gonna go in i'm gonna try that look let me show it to you guys one more time and do you see how beautiful it is? But it's very wearable for every day. It's not complicated. It's not going to take a lot of time. This is what's trending right now is stuff like this. If you guys have a chance, I love her. I need to try to connect with her because she's such a great artist. So we're going to do this. And I'm going to take um, a dome brush. I'm going to start with a pink color out here. And then we're going to go on the lid with some of that shimmer. But we don't want it to be too... We want it to be very almost over blended. <laughs> Heather is asking, how do I get, whoops, 
How do I get the colors to stay on my waterline when using a pencil in a purple, for example? Anytime you use a gel liner, it's usually going to stay a little bit more and it kind of depends on the formula. So I would try different formulas if you can, but definitely use gel. They're going to stick a little better than pencil. Okay. So take, we're going to go in with Berry Shady. Here's my pink row. I'm going to go in with this guy right here and I'm going to take that dome brush that I used earlier and we're going to do the strategic placement um, in the outer part of the eye. So like, remember the one I showed you guys earlier, this one, that's our shape right there. And we're gonna bring it in here and then we're gonna put some shimmer right here. So take Berry Shady, which is a pink. We're gonna go out here, just like that. And because these are so pigmented and saturated, you just need a little bit, you guys. But look how pretty that is. And it's so easy. I'm just blending it out. I'm starting here in the outer corner. I'm kind of getting in here. And then I'm not picking up any more color. And I'm just blending it like this. You, it's, you really have to be kind of messy with it. We can't be precise. We're just, just get the color on there. <laughs> That's all we want. <laughs> I'm going to do, pick up a little bit more. Berry Shady is right here. It's on our pink row. This is Pinky Promise, very shady. I think that's Tuscan, Tuscan Sun. So those are the, some of the shades that you guys can pick from for the pinks. Same thing, go out here. Just picking up a little bit more color. Do you see how soft it is? You can come out here too if you guys want. If you feel like you can pull off the color out here, because look at her picture. Pinks are my favorite. Yeah, mine too. I love pinks. She actually came out pretty far out the side, which you can. I wouldn't go um, quite as bright. I would go up one shade to maybe Pinky Promise. So let's go with this guy right here. And we can, you know, you could start pulling it out here if you want. Depends on how much pink you want. So I'm really just putting that color, just blending it with that soft dome brush out here. Just like that. I don't like how it's low here. So I'm just going to take, let's hope that this week this goes well. I don't have shadow on here <laughs> like that. And if you guys want, if you want it to come out, but you want um, kind of a cat eye right there, you can just clean it up with a straight line if you want. I've got some shadow. I don't know why it's sticking right here. I think I didn't put my dry shadow down first. There we go just like that. But isn't that pretty? Then take a shimmer. Let's do that same pigment. So let's do um, telepathic is a duochrome one. If you guys want duochromes, this is a great option because it flex, reflects different colors. So let me show you. This is telepathic. You see how it starts at gold and then it can turn to a pink color. It can look white depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to pick up some on my finger and just dab it on. I'm not trying to, I'm literally, do you see how I'm doing this motion, guys? Just quick and dirty, just like that. Really, really easy. If you want more pink, go back in, you know, kind of touch it up here. If you want to do, let me see if her picture has some underneath. So <laughs> does she have pink underneath? She has a little bit. Let's try it. Let's experiment, guys. Let's take an, a dome brush like the one we used earlier. Let's go in with that berry shady. Let's put a little bit down here. Quick and dirty, though. Just like that. I really like that. That's really, really pretty. Let me put a little bit more shimmer on because I kind of over blended it. There we go. Do you see how easy it is? But it still looks like a really blended technique. And because it's a duochrome, it reflects. It kind of looks like it blended itself. <laughs> Let's put mascara on this side and then we'll do another one. Just tuned in. What palette are you using? Zaf is asking. I'm using the Makeup Geek Matrix system. The color I used was very shady. And I used a foiled pigment. Okay, so we're going to put the mascara on to show you guys how this pulls together. But do you guys see how this is colorful? But look how wearable it is because we're not, we're using just a couple shadows. It's all about strategic placement. Where are we going to place it? Next, I'm going to show you guys how to um, 
use it almost as a liner. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, if you guys want, if you don't want to get the whole matrix system, you can put your custom palettes together. If you put a nine well together, it's $38 for nine full size shades and a, um, a case to put it in that's reusable. It's, everything's meant to be reusable. So you, we are kinder to the environment. <laughs> okay. There you go. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Just very, very simple, just like that. Okay. So let's try, let's wipe off this eye. So there's two looks for you guys. And we did that, what, in less than five minutes each look? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take um, some eye makeup remover. Let's remove this. I'm going to show you guys, too, how to... I got to show you this on our eyeshadow bingo on Sunday, how to clean up your eyes. <laughs> which that was fun. I got literally blue all over my face. There we go. Go away, phone thing. Oops, go away. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to clean it up with a eye makeup remover. And then because I took off some of my makeup, I'm going to take um, a dome brush. We're going to put a little bit of foundation down just to clean up my eyes. Just like that. I can kind of take a sponge. And hey, Robin from Louisiana. <laughs> okay, let's take some foundation. You guys have seen me do this a million times, but I want to keep showing it because it's my favorite way to clean up. Put some foundation on your hand. Take a dome brush. This is an It Cosmetics Pro Concealer Brush. Really work the product in and touch it up. That's it. Go on the eyes. Do you see how quick and easy that was? So if you guys make a mistake and you're like, crap, I got to go to work or I got to go somewhere... Um, you don't have time to clean it up. Super easy. Literally just do that. And then we can, you know, touch up our blush. Look how fast I'm working, guys. Look how fast. Wipe off your brush. <laughs> Set it with an eyeshadow. Going in with So Pale. <laughs> Going in with this guy here. You gotta set it just like that. A little bit more. Make sure I don't pick up any gray in there, <laughs> which I almost did. Just like that. Okay. That's how you clean it up. I think I might have got a little bit of gray under there. But that's okay. <laughs> okay, what color do you guys want to see next? Tell me which color you want. Let me answer questions for just a couple minutes, and then we'll do two more looks. I'm going to touch up more foundation. Okay, I love that you're doing these lives. Thanks, music. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, blue, blue, green, green. Oop. You guys are trying to kill me. You know that I hate blues, right? You guys are killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> Let's do blue. I'll do it for you guys. Only because I love you. Everyone's asking for blue or green. Fine. <laughs> We're going to go in. Let's do, um, this is not practice, but let's try it. Let's do a strategic placement in the crease with blue. And I know you guys are like, you can't do that. You can wear blue in the crease. Yes, we can. <laughs> Where is my, we're going to touch up the brows just one more time. They got a little bit right there. Let's draw, draw the line back in. Okay, so blue. Let's, um, let's take a darker blue right here. This is time travel. Let's take a kind of pointed crease brush. Lord, help me as I do this look. <laughs> I'm going to go in with kind of a more pointed brush like this, a very defined crease. So let's do our color here now, because we did color out here. We did it along the lower lash line. Now let's do the crease and we'll do blue. Let's see how this turns out. If it doesn't turn out, I'm blaming you guys for making me pick blue. I hate blue. <laughs> I love these shadows, but I don't know. I just can't. Ugh. Blue. <laughs> okay. I'm going to watch. It's going to turn out really pretty. And you guys are going to be like, I told you so. I told you so. Okay. So I'm just going to do time travel right here. Just like that. <laughs> She's like, I would have gone with green. Talon is saying, I'm like, I feel you, girl. I feel you. Okay. Let me bring this out just a little bit. You know, actually, this does look kind of cool. It does. You guys are right. Why do you always have to be right? <laughs> so this is time travel. I'm kind of doing a cut crease with it, but we're not going to. I want to see if I can pull this off with just one color. Let's try. Let me bring it out here. This is actually really pretty. 
Do you guys see how I'm using a um like a really defined brush? This one, what is this brush? Makeup Forever 214. That's the brush right here. I've had this forever, but it's a 214 brush. Just anything really pointy. I think Makeup Geek, we had our defined crease brush, but if you want something that's just um very pointy. I actually like that. Okay, let's clean up under the um the under here. So let me take just a smudger brush. Let's try to kind of straighten this out. There we go. Just taking a smudger brush that's dry, just trying to get that shadow out. I actually kind of like that. You guys were right. You were right. I was wrong. Blue looks really pretty. That's really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like that. <laughs> Let's take it one more step, cause give me two shadows. That way I can show you guys what you can do with two shadows. Let's do a neutral under the lower lash line just to add a little bit of dimension in here. What do you guys think? Tell me if you guys want some shimmer right here, cause I can put a full shadow here if you want. Let's go in with, um. Let's go in with a plummy brown like this. This is a give me the dirt, I believe. Yes, give me the dirt. Let's go in with a smaller brush like this. So go back in with that dome brush. Let's put a little bit of color under here. It's up to you guys, your eye shape, if you feel um, like this is good. So you guys tell me yes or no in here if you want shimmer or no. So say yes or no while you are deciding on that. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow under here. This is give me the dirt just like that. You see how I'm buffing it in there? I'm doing this just to balance out my eyes because I have protruding eyes and I have a lot of space down here. So I always smoke it out a little bit. So everyone's saying yes. So we'll do some shimmer under here. But this is just a little bit of brown. It's up to you if you wanna connect it to this. You can if you want. Like that. That's actually really pretty. I'm glad you guys made me step out of my zone. I'm glad. <laughs> okay, so to apply a shimmer, I'm gonna do a flat kind of brush like this. Um, let's see what foiled shadow we wanna do. I've got this whole top row here. We are coming out with more foiled shadows. I was gonna show you guys today, it's downstairs. I'll bring it for the next class. So we've got all of these right here. Let's kind of do a neutral. So maybe let's do starry eyed, which is this guy right here. If you have darker skin, I would go in with legend or I would do grandstand, which is this guy right here. If you have darker skin, deeper skin, go in with like grandstand. Um, there's flamethrower. Um, go in with something a little bit richer, but if you have fair skin, go in with um, starry eyed is really pretty. So let's put this. on the lid here. And then let me touch up because I got some of the shimmer in that crease. So where did that brush go? Here we go. We're gonna touch it back up to kind of clean up that crease a little bit. I really like that. That's actually really pretty. And if you guys wanna add lashes, we can do that. Let me prep them so you guys can see, and then I will wipe off this one here. Is that a silver beside the teal? It's not what happens sometimes when you blend out the um, the blues, they can kind of take a silver tone depending on how much you um, do that. But that, that, I really like this. I'm really glad you guys made me step out of my zone. <laughs> let me prep some lashes and I'll show you really quick how to do that and then we'll do the fourth and final look. Um, let me know here, comment, what color do you want me to see next? So we did a purple, we did a pink, we did a blue. Which one do you guys want next? I will do that for this eye over here. <laughs> we'll wipe it off. Let me measure these and put these, kind of just set them on. Yeah, I like that. So just pretend we aren't gonna apply them today because I don't wanna waste time for you guys, but there's lashes if you have it. Here's without lashes. I really like that. Okay, so let me wipe off this while you guys say, I'm seeing green, lots of greens and oranges. I might do green because I don't think I've done green. Let's dab off that little, little blob of sweat. Let's get a do for one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you again how to clean off the eye. Eye makeup remover, a little cotton pad, and yellow. Someone's saying yellow, orange. I'll try 
apply green because I don't think I've done green for you guys in a while. Okay, so same thing. Just wipe it off here like that. And let's touch up our foundation really quick and dirty. Um, Take this. Okay. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are saying green. Okay, I'll do green for you guys. I'll show you that really quick. Okay, so here's our foundation. Brush, work it in, work it in. Get that brush a workout. Yes, brush, yes. Clean it up. Clean up in aisle seven. We got it going over here. We clean up in here. Do you see how quick and easy that was to clean that up, you guys, just from the foundation, just wiping it off. And then don't forget to set it. So wipe off your brush. Go in with your your neutral shadow and set it. If you don't set your foundation before you put your um, shadows on, it's harder to blend. So I'm taking So Pale right here. Got a little shiny in there. Okay, super, super quick and easy. Okay, so let's do another one. Let me show you one more artist. So you guys should follow Katie. Here's the other one that I was gonna show you. Oh, this one's pretty. Actually, would you guys be mad if I did orange? I want to do this look for you. So her username is posvomu, P-O-S-V-O-U, V-O-E-M-U. Love her work. I just literally just found her, but she does a lot of really pretty, um, like, graphic looks here. One colors, pops of colors. If you guys want to follow on trend with that too, like, ooh, look at this one. Actually, let's do this placement. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I like this one too. Let me, are you guys okay? I know what you guys said green, but can I try? Actually, we'll do this with green. Let's do this technique. So she's doing crease coming down here with her strategic placement, and then she's doing kind of a gold glitter right here. But let's try that with green green. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so here's my green row. I have Illuminati, All of You, Spilled Tea, and an um, Enchanted Forest. So I'm going to go in. I don't want to go too, too dark. I'm going to go in with this one, which is Spilled Tea. So that's the green. If you want to go a little bit lighter, here's All of You. So there is our two shadows there. Okay, let's go in with our crease brush. I'm going to go in with a little bit smaller crease brush. So let's go in with something like this. Let's start with all of you just because I want to, my skin's kind of fair, so I don't want to go too, too crazy. So let's take it and she's going to do, hold on. We've got, this is our, our base. We're going to do this in the crease. So it looks like she's got, yeah, actually I like that a lot. Did I already get, uh, I already messed up you guys. I got green on the inner corner right there. We're going to clean that up. Clean up on aisle eight. <laughs> okay, so take the green. This is all of you. And we're just going to blend it out here like this. I'm going to come on here and let's just smoke this out. I'm not going to use any other colors. I'm trying to use as few colors as possible. That's the joy of the trends right now is you don't have to use a lot of product. Use what you have, guys. Do you see how I'm buffing it out? Look how the color fades really pretty when I just keep working it, just like that. So pretty, just like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put, she's got a little bit on the inner corner. We can try it. You know what I might do, you guys? Let's take on um, that small brush and go in with Illuminati and then I'll do a gold on the lid. So Illuminati is a really pretty green you see that color? Look how pretty that is. Let's put a little bit in here. I like that a lot. So if you guys want, that's actually kind of a pretty look. Let's do some more green underneath. So let me take that same brush just for me. I'm gonna go in with Spilled Tea, which is a little bit darker green. Let's kind of put it out here like that. Yeah, that's really pretty, the green, super easy. Let's put a little bit of gold here just to match her look. So let me take, um, which eyeshadow can we do? Let's do a gold pigment. So let me try to do, I have Firefly, which is kind of a gold and I have Intermission. Let's do Firefly. 
So let me show you this one. It's kind of a peachy gold right there. That's really pretty. So let's do that. This is Firefly pigment. Same thing with your fingers. Kind of do that. Golds and greens always look really pretty. Just kind of dab it. Doesn't have to be perfect. If you want, you guys can um do you guys still have any of your glitter liners at all? What you could do is take some of this if you really want it to be glittery. You can do a dab, a dab, dab right here. That's really pretty. Kind of put the gold on here. I love golds and greens. So isn't that gorgeous right there? That's really, really easy to do. But see, it doesn't have to be very complicated. Let me put some, um, ooh, got lash in there. There we go. Did I get it? Okay, so let me put a little bit of black in the waterline just to show you guys. I wish I had a dark green. I don't know. I've got Makeup Geek um, Spectrum Liner, but I don't have a green gel liner on me right now. So let's do, where did it go? I wanted to do um, black liner for you guys, and I don't know where my liner went. So maybe we will skip that step. We will. <laughs> and you, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's try black liner in here to pull it together and then I'll show you what it looks like with lashes. So take your gel liner. Ooh, that's really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Look how gorgeous that is. Let me show you what it looks like with the other lash on. So these are the graceful lashes um, from Makeup Geek. And let me trim them. Let me show you guys. I'm gonna cut off a little bit the edge just to make them fit my eye. Let me set them down so you guys can see. This is the whole look. That's really pretty. I think I'm gonna leave them off so you could see the color a little bit more. And let's just try to put a little bit more mascara on. So pretty. See how easy it is, you guys? It doesn't, I love that the trend for this year is just honestly quick and dirty and just very almost editorial where you're just a little bit less defined with it. You're less um, precise. You're just going in with fingers and different brushes and things like that. So what do you guys think? Did you like our four looks for today? The strategic placement. Which one was your favorite? <laughs> Tell me which one. I'm not going to lie. I know you guys gave me so much crap about me not wearing one to wear blue, but I actually really like this one. I might have to retry this one and wear that out. But these are no lashes, two or three colors per look. Super easy. It's all about strategic placement. So just pick a, a spot that you want to place your color and that's what you've got. Okay, I'll answer questions for now. What questions do you guys have? Well, I show you more spots for strategic placement. <laughs> I like the blue and green. Hugs and kisses saying. Larvina Famusili. Hopefully I'm saying your name. Love them all. Here's the upper lash line. We didn't do this one. But that one was, that one could be really fun. If you do just, you guys could take on the pigment, mix it with some liquid. And you could take a little skinny brush like this. And you could turn it into a liner and do that too. So love them wearing number two and love the last looks. Yes. <laughs> well, let me know if you guys have some questions. If not, I'm going to be on on Sunday for our eyeshadow bingo. So check that out. Um, it's going to be like last time where I'm just going to on camera live. I'm going to pick one from each row and just try a look live no practicing so it's a fun time because you guys get to see all of my many mistakes <laughs> okay let me answer a few questions carrie click is saying how do you stop from upper lip sweating it's definitely my problem too i do too honestly i just have to keep dabbing it it really sucks i just take a, a sponge and dab it and then i take a um, brush with some shadow on it and i just have to set it more i just have to put more powder around my nose right here and here and then I just have to keep dabbing it because I'll keep sweating a little bit. So <laughs> Hanim Essie, what is your favorite color of all? I really like Berry Shady, that one I used earlier, and then Grandstand. This is my go-to foiled shadow. Um, looks like this. I wear this one 
literally, I think I've hit five pans on it now because it's just a really gorgeous rose gold color. So that's my favorite. <laughs> um, Anastasia Armenic. I'm not gonna try to say your name, Anastasia. Which one do you recommend for each eye shape? Um, so I would say this is for all eye shapes. I feel like everyone can pull that off. I feel like for hooded eyes, it's good to put your color down here because it draws attention away from the hooded part and you could see it. Put a little shimmer here. That's really pretty. Um, for prominent eyes or, or larger eyes that come out a bit where your eyes are further out than your brow bone, I would say like this placement would be good. Or if you have large round eyes, this one is good. Um, this one right here would work for hooded eyes as well. But also if you have small eyes, um, like if you don't have a lot of lid space, I would say this placement is really good because you're focusing your color up here. And then this guy right here honestly could work for anyone because it's so close to the lash line. It's pretty much just colorful liner. So that's what I would say would work for everyone. <laughs> Aww. One more question. Um, Ina Dream, when are we coming to the UK? I know we are working on a distribution center right now, but um, for now we do ship to the UK, free shipping over $65. So we do still ship to the, UA, uh, to the UK. And then the matrix system we're hoping to restock um, as soon as our shipment from the lab can leave. It depends on when lockdown in California is done. I'm hoping it'll get shipped next month. So within the next six weeks, I would say four to six weeks, depending on the shutdown for everything. So yeah, <laughs> Deborah, when is baby due? Hopefully the end of the month. I'm 35 weeks now. I feel like 39 weeks. I'm ready for this baby to come anytime. But my actual due date's May 12th. But we definitely think she's coming early because we think I'm further along because she's she's measuring ahead. So <laughs> anyways, you guys join me on Sunday. We will do another eyeshadow bingo. It's a lot of fun. It's more casual. I'll still teach throughout, but it's just a fun time just playing with makeup live and chit chatting, grab some coffee, a snack, all that great stuff. So I'm going to be on Sunday at noon on Easter Sunday. So thanks you guys for watching our class. I'll see you on Sunday and then our next class will be next Thursday. So talk to you soon guys. Bye.